Hello, Seahawk Nation. Welcome back to Seahawk Central News. I'm Isabella Zawistowska. And I'm Laura Delabadia. This week, we will take a look at a local nonprofit volunteer fair and local organization that is receiving national recognition for groundbreaking research. We will also discuss an upcoming jazz festival and healthy eating celebration. Stay tuned. Seahawk Central News starts right now. Members of NCC Grant and NC State Research and Education Outreach Program are being nationally recognized for their innovative study on North Carolina's rip currents. UNCW's own coastal construction and erosion specialist in the Center for Marine Science, Spencer Rogers, has been named as the Coastal Steward of the Year in 2014 and is the recipient of the Walter B. Jones Senior Awards. Roger has worked with NCC Grant since 1978 and plans to continue and expand the RIP Current Project to a countrywide venture. The 35th Annual North Carolina Jazz Festival in downtown Wilmington will begin Thursday, February 5th with UNCW alumni band the Benny Hill Quartet opening the evening series of performers. Ticket prices range from $15 to $60 for a single concert, while two or three day passes range from $200 to $225. All evening concerts will be held in the Wilmington Hilton Riverside Ballroom, along with a musical brunch performance on the last day of the festival, Saturday, February 7th. UNCW is partnering once again with Feast Down East to host their fifth annual regional conference, promoting healthy eating and the farm to table food movement. The conference will take place on Friday, February 6th in the Bernie Center. UNCW Chancellor Sederberg and Mayor Safoff will kick-start the conference in the morning. Planned events throughout the day include workshops, lectures, and a locally sourced lunch for farmers, chefs, educators, community members, and students alike. Registration is open now through February 3rd on Feast Down East website, www.feastdowneast.org. Have you been searching for a way to make a direct impact on your community? Are you hoping for a volunteer opportunity that will fill your heart with joy? Look no further. This week in the Seahawks Service Spotlight, we have the 2015 Star News Media Conscience Fair that will be held on Cape Fear Community College's campus on Saturday, February 7th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Nonprofit organizations will give fair attendees a glimpse at what their group does and how volunteers can take part. For more information, please email Sacatwell at starnewsonline.com. Before we wrap up this week's edition, we would just like to give our condolences to the family and friends of Douglas Perez. He was a beloved member of our SEAC family, and he will be missed. Until next time, I'm Laura Delabadia. And I'm Isabella Zawistowska. So long, Seahawks. <laughs>